pressure. Oh, I feel really good. Those guys. Uh, I think I've exceeded uh, you know, my own expectations for this week, where, so you know, it, it's um, time to play, and you know, I'm happy, go. and uh, yeah, you. you know, I'm excited awesome. to keep, you know, get, get closer and closer to uh, you know, to the game three weeks now. At this point, do you feel are you, you ahead of where you thought you would be ahead of schedule? Or are you well, I mean, if, if I was on schedule, I'd be in, I'd be in big trouble because you know, like the normal the normal recovery for this thing is like nine months, which puts me in like like October. So, you know, I want to push it and. Uh, you know, I think the training staff's happy with our man. I'm happy where I'm at, and I think everybody's kind of surprised with how well it's going. And uh, you know, hopefully that continues. Are you guys gelling out there as a, as, as a unit with the offense? Well? I mean, I think it's really good. I think uh, as much as the group since I've been here has sort of through the ones and two deep sort of been not only you know sort of a group on the field, but a group off the field. You know, sort of back when the older guy, you know, Jordan, and those guys were here. It was like a group of the older guys holding out together, and then the younger guys kind of hung out and. Or, yeah, or, or you sort of hung out together. And I think now, uh, by more since I've ever been here, we've sort of as a whole group, sort of everybody is sort of, uh, you know, one group, one sort of one unit. Have you made a point to kind of foster that? Uh, I think I think Rhino helps a lot because Rhino's an older guy. And when he came in, Frank Clinton. yeah, I think when, when he came in, he, uh, he hung out with all the younger guys. And so, uh, you know, I think that Ryan's, done, run, Ryan's been a big part of sort of bringing the whole group together. Has that helped? Uh, has that crossed over? I mean, are you guys communicating? Well, or anything like that, because uh, you guys are on the same page uh, in any way. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, I'm not getting to watch as much as I was in the spring, but, uh, you know, in the spring there's a lot. We had some, we had some communication stuff just because our defense throws, throws so, throws so much, uh, throw much, so, so much stuff at us, and, uh, you know, I think we're doing a lot better job of communicating now. Um, you know, we can keep doing more, but I don't think we're going to face any sort of defense all year that you know kind of requires a sort of communication and attention to you know detail about what the, what they're doing rather than what we're doing um, that our defense sort of demands. What kind of improvements have you seen out of yourself and Cody and Johnstone that you feel is going to be different from last year? Um, you know, I think uh, you know, I think what Nick sort of brought last year a big time was that it's like having it's like having an offensive line coach in the field. Like Nick knows so much about all this. Like Nick knows more than I do. He knows more than anybody else. And uh, I think that was Nick's biggest strength last year. And uh, I think so far in camp, Nick's done a good job of picking up his physicality and. Uh, you know, picking up not just being sort of the coach on the field, but also, you know, really, uh, you know, really stepping up his play. Presumably, guys like Jake and Ryan are playing big roles, even though Nick was a starter. Yeah. And uh, you know, I mean, when we're out practice with the ones, we take so many reps. The dudes just rotate around, and so it's not like we have five guys that are taking every rep of the ones. We have eight or eight guys that are rotating around with the ones, including myself, and you know in and out with different places and so I mean, Ryan's taking a rep at guard and I'm taking a rep at guard and then you know Jake's a left tackle, Jake's a right tackle, Nick's a right tackle, Nick, you know, Nick's a left tackle, uh, you know, whoever it is coming up because we, there's so many reps that it, the groups are really fluid. Um, you know, and so, you know, maybe when we just say first group there's a group of five guys that go up and do it, but you know, we don't it's sort of like the defense, you know, it's like we we may have guys that go on the little scoreboard before the game but doesn't mean they're taking all the snaps. You're probably taking slightly over half the snaps. You talked in the spring about kind of being excited about the potential for that. Are you seeing that come to fruition, the, the possibility that you guys really could be a deeper unit that is able to play a lot more guys? Yeah, I think a lot of guys are demanding playing time. Um, and uh, I think we, you know, whether whether we're better, I don't know how to, how to quantify that, but I think there's going to be more guys that are deserving of playing time and, you know, that we can trust on the field than we did last year. Um, you know, which I think is a, you know, a good thing for everybody, especially as we get into these 14-game seasons, that uh, you really got to have some durability. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a re I'm not a big fan of the uh, of the uh, delayed tape delayed tape stuff. So it's really, I mean, it's like I you know I spend I get most of my news aggregated on Twitter or different stuff like that, and so. Uh, you know, it's almost impossible for me to avoid, and so, you know, I, I, you know, I, I know the results before I watch it, which, you know, it's not as fun. Um, but, you know, the ratings are working out for NBC, so I guess we can't complain about it that much. Now, if if you could, uh, I know you, you you love the guys in the locker room there, but if you could add anybody to this Duck football team, would it be Usain Bolt, Ash Neaton, or maybe be an offensive lineman, somebody like Reese Hoff with a shot putter? Uh. I wouldn't trade any of them for anybody. Let's take what we got. I'm gonna hold you two. You got. I'll, you choose those three. Usain Bolt, uh, Ash Neaton, and then Reese Hoffman, just because he's a big. It's like Ashen. Ashen's a duck, and uh, Ashen's a freak. So, you know, we can, we can, we can move him around. I will. I'll take Ashen 100%. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you.